Hello, my name's Simon and I'm from Armadillo Art Experience and we're back with some more Draw Together drawing films for you. Um, today we're going to learn to draw a mermaid. Um, it's raining outside so if you hear any sort of splashes, you know, cars going through puddles and that type of thing, that's just what that is really. So the camera microphone picking it up. But anyway, um, we'll get right on with it, shall we, and learn to draw a mermaid. Um, I'm just going to use a marker pen, I'm going to use some paper, and then I'll probably put a little bit of colour on it with some paint, but please feel free to use whatever art materials you have to hand today. Right, let's start, shall we? So in the middle of the paper, towards the top, let's start by drawing the eyes, and then we can sort of build the character outwards. Pop in a nose, a nice smiley mouth, Cast some eyebrows and some eyelashes. And then we can draw the mermaid's face around the outside. So we've got we've had room to draw all the features. Then just draw some hair. Next let's add a little neck. Draw the mermaid's arm. She's waving there. Draw a hand. And then we can draw our other arm in. I'll just have it sort of at the side, a bit like she's sort of swimming there or moving through the water. Now we can put on a special mermaid, made of shells type swimming costume. We'll draw her tummy. And then we can add the mermaid's tail. Add some scales. Of detail there, put a few bubbles in. Now I've got lots of space around the mermaid, so I'm going to add some weed at the bottom, like this, some seaweed, and draw some fish just to really sort of fill the page up and uh, make a nice composition. So put another couple down here. I'm going to add another one up here at the top. Pop a couple of bubbles coming out of his mouth. Then let's just put another one down here in the weed, shall we? So I'm starting with the eyes all the time and then building the characters outwards to leave lots of space for their expressions um, rather than trying to cram everything into a little shape. So here we've got our uh, completed drawing of the mermaid and now it's time to add some colour. I'm going to use watercolour but please feel free to use any art materials you have to hand. Um, I'm going to paint a bit of a blue background and then I'm going to move on and uh, finish the scene off by painting the mermaid and the fish and hopefully we'll have quite a nice underwater painting by the end of it. Anyway, let's um, have a go shall we? So now I'm going to start by adding some blue for the water. So we'll paint that all around her. And then I'm going to add a little bit of turquoise. Or you could pop a little bit of green into your blue paint. And that makes it, you know, another colour in there. It makes it look like there's a bit of water flowing around her, a little bit of current in the sea. And then I'm going to paint the weed green. Now let's add a little bit of orange to the mermaid's tail and maybe paint a fish with that. So we can add a bit of colour to the different fishes. And paint in the mermaid swimming costume and eyes. And we can paint in the mermaid. A bit of colour in her cheeks. And add some colour to her hair. And I'm trying to paint in the direction of the mermaid's hair to make it look flowing. And there we are, all done. So there we have our uh, finished mermaid. Hope you enjoyed having a look at that and maybe uh, you fancy having a go yourselves. Um, if you do create a lovely mermaid picture or anything else actually, why not post it to our Facebook page because we do love seeing your work. Anyway, that is, that is it for this time. I'll say goodbye. Thanks for watching uh, Draw Together with Armadillo Art Experience and I'll see you next time for some more drawing and creativity and painting. Goodbye.